It's Wednesday, July 6, 2016, and as the days tick away until the next iPhone is revealed, the rumor mill is kicking into overdrive as usual. This time, Mac Rumors is reporting that renders for the next iPhone case indicate the big 7 Plus will have a new dual lens camera, while the regular 7 will sport an upgraded single lens imaging system. There also appears to be cutouts for stereo sound, and you guessed it, there's no more headphone jack. Other rumored features to expect in the new iPhone, a faster A10 CPU, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs base memory, finally, and faster LTE performance. Again, all rumors, but hey, September is just around the corner. Speaking of phones, a new report just out from Mobile Threat Monitor Checkpoint says up to 10 million Android phones worldwide may be infected with humming bad malware. Damn those hackers, right? Except it appears Hummingbad isn't exactly a product of someone killing time in their basement, but rather it was designed by shady Chinese ad server agency Ying Mob to be a cash cow, and it's working. That's right, it's sort of a malware slash hacker ad campaign, and Checkpoint says it's pulling in about 300 grand per month in fraudulent ad revenue. Checkpoint first spotted Hummingbad back in February, and it's exploded since then. Worse, infected phones can be put to work as a botnet whenever someone decides to take that step. Hummingbad was confined to China and India, but is now worldwide with about a quarter million phones affected or infected in the US. To get rid of it, well, you'll basically need to wipe your phone. Google went shopping in France recently and came home with some new berets, baguettes, and a little company that will identify things in the pictures people take. Called Moodstocks, the startup uses machine learning-based image recognition to recognize things in your cell phone photos, sort of like how Shazam can suss out that tune you like. The idea is you can search your photos for things like beach or car or handbag, and once the Moodstock software finds it, it can of course link to a place to buy said bag or car, and well, you can see how it's going to work already. Smart, right? Yeah, Amazon recently bought a company that essentially does the same thing. Hopefully, we can turn these features off so we can browse our photos in peace. That'll do it for DT Daily today. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll be back again tomorrow.